It is great to talk to the attorney, Benjamin Crump. I've been following the story, uh, Attorney Crump. The more information we get, the more angry that we're getting. It, and yeah. now it makes even less sense that this man has not been arrested. Where are we at with this case? It's truly unfortunate, Mike. And first, I want to say on behalf of the parents, thank you. Thank your listening community. It's because of y'all that the whole world is now talking about this. The parents and I are in New York, and we're going to the Million Hoodie March tonight at Union Square. And it's amazing that people from New York will be supporting this cause of a little black boy down in Sanford because it matters to everybody. Attorney yeah. Crump, the thing about it is that you have the call from the young lady. She's on the logs having a conversation with Trayvon. She says what's going on. It's a matter of her word against George Zimmerman's. Given all the facts, how can this man at least not be arrested? Michael, you're right. And she got more credibility because the cell phone records document right. what she called. She called at 712. The police report says they arrived at 717. And when they arrived, he is dead on the ground. Four minutes is the cell phone records that show how long she was on there. So she heard part of the confrontation, and she knows firsthand detailed accounts. They had talked all day, Michael. He told her some strange dude is following me. She told him to run. That's when he started running. And then we hear on the 911 tape where Zimmerman said he's taking off running and he gets out and chase. This is beyond belief. It is beyond belief. I don't care what race you are. People are looking at this case from around the world, Benjamin Crump, and saying, what is going on in America? What's going on in Florida? What's going on in Sanford? And I just got off a call with the BBC over in Great Britain, mm -hmm. and they are talking about the outrage, and people just can't understand why won't they arrest this guy? How long is it going to take? But what is the police chief telling you as to the reason why? It couldn't be we're still investigating out of all the stuff that's come up. How is it that the chief police is justifying not going to arrest this man? They have dug in their heels. They have sent signal yesterday to mm -hmm. us that they have no intention of arresting him. They're sending it to a grand jury. And what I predicted all along, they're just going to keep passing the book, the police to the state attorney, now the state attorney to the grand jury, which is a private proceeding. We won't know what happened in the room. And if that jury comes back and says, we don't have probable cause to arrest them, they wash their hands to it and say, it was the community who made the decision, not us. And that's the sham of it all. How can the Sanford Police Department be allowed not to do this with all this evidence? There's no way they should be allowed to pass the book. You got a mayor, you got a police chief, you got evidence. Why not just arrest him? We're going to ask the city commission that Monday at 6 o'clock, how are y'all allowing this police chief to not do his job? The parents are going to look in their eyes and ask the elected officials that on the 26th, and we want to hear their answer. Now, what time on the 26th? Because I need to be there for that one, too, because I, I, I just can't get this secondhand. Well, that's the big one. Uh, it's uh, the change.org people, the petition. We hope to have it by a million. We're about at 750000 and we're going to print those out and take boxes in to the city commission and tell them not only Michael Bates and Ben Crump, Trayvon's parents want to know, but a million other people across America want to know why y'all are not making this man do his job. It's at 4 o'clock, Michael. Uh, we would love to have you there. At 6 o'clock, we march to City Hall, and we hope to have thousands of people when they can't do anything else on their agenda but address Trayvon Martin's situation at Sanford City Commission meeting. See you guys on Thursday at the First Shiloh Baptist Church, 700 South Elm Avenue in Sanford, Florida, and then again on Monday for that hearing, man, because that's a very important situation right there. Thank you so much, Michael. God bless you, man. To all the family out there, man, get out there. I don't care what's going on in your life. you got to get involved in this.